Hey, welcome back to this Next.js tutorial. And today in this tutorial, we will learn how to build API in Next.js. So in Next.js, to build API, you need to create a route handler. Let's go to the Next.js documentation and see how to create a route handlers. So you can use a route handler to create a custom request handler for a given route. You can see here, look at this picture. In this picture, the app directory contains this API folder and within the API folder, there is a file name route.js or if you were using a TypeScript, you can name it route.ts and this route.ts contains your route handlers and that route handler support a different kind of HTTP methods. So let's see how to build the products API where we will get all the products from the server. Now let's go back and within the A folder, create a new folder name it api so we name it api because here we are going to specify all of the api related to the products now let's create a new folder and name it products and to build your route handlers you need to create a special file or there is a convention in next.js you can name the file route.ts or js now within this route.ts you can specify your route handlers which support a different kind of http methods like a get which allows you to get the data from the server and another http method post which allows you to create the new data on the server and the next http method is a put which allows you to update the data on the server and lastly we have the HTTP method delete, which allows you to delete the data from the server. Now at this point, we have created our API endpoint API slash products. To access this API endpoint, open a Postman or you can use the Thunder client. So if you not install Thunder client, go to extension and search for the Thunder client. And then you have to install this extension. After installing this extension, open the thunder client and click on new request and after that you need to specify here your api endpoint that you want to access so api endpoint is a localhost 3000 slash api slash products that we have created now when you click on send you can see status equal to 405 method not allowed that means we have not specified any of the http method in our route.ts file you can see here it is empty now so from here we are sending the get request so let's define our first get http method which returns a single object so to define a http method in the route.ts file first you need to specify export keyword that you are exporting this method then this is the async function and then you need to specify the HTTP method name. So in this case, it is a get. And now within this get method, you will add uh, some of the logic like a fetching the data from the database and then you will return that data. Right now we have not configured our Nexus application for the database. So simply we will return a single object containing a product ID product name so let's specify here return and then call the response constructor and then call the JSON method and let's return a object containing ID equal to one and name which is the name of the product. This is just for example and product name is a laptop. Fix the return keyword name and now let's go back to Thunder client and here here we are making get request because in our route.ts file we have defined only one single HTTP method get. So select the get from the options and then here you need to specify the API endpoints and then click on send. And when you click on send you get the status 200 OK and you get the single object containing the product ID and product name. Similarly you can replace this get to a post where you will write your logic to create a data and then you can write here put to update the data and then lastly you can specify a delete method 
where you will implement the logic to delete the data. Right now, we will work on the get method. Now, in next video, we will implement the logic within this get HTTP method. So, whenever someone access this API endpoint, this API endpoint will return all the products. So, at last, I want to say, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And thank you.